Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and the Flyers did it. There was a great atmosphere last evening as they won Jeru's 1,000th game for him on Mr. Clutch goal by Philly Joel himself, who Jeru told him to beat his records. That's the confidence that the captain has in Joel Farabee. Now, the captain is not traveling with the team. The reported trade from last night is not completed yet with the Sam Miskevich tidbit and a pick. That was rumored. It's between Florida and Colorado as of right now. And um, I think you could get the most players in terms of totality out of Florida because they don't have picks. Uh, you could, But if you could get New Hook from Colorado, then that might be as the Reef from Nitty Gritty said. I'm just trying to keep my uh, expectations pampered. Um, the best one player for one, obviously. But when it comes to this overall game, the Flyers play with a lot more ante, a lot more spunk than I've seen them play probably any game in 2022. It's the first time in a millennium this year that they scored five goals. Um, and they won the game 5-4. to four. Sandheim made a couple mistakes in the neutral zone, but I thought was one of the best players on the ice uh, last night. He looked like whenever he was, like the one play he lost, but then just took it and made that other, that the second nice backhand play. He made the draw a scoring chance on that. And then obviously his goal was on a nice backhand play in front. And then unfortunately Tanner Janot, Scored to start the second, but no no bother because the Flyers actually capitalized on the power play as Cam York, who I thought also looked good on the ice last night. I don't know why he got put with Keith Yandel after he scored that power play goal, but that's a different task for a different time. He looked very good and got it done, buried one, and then JVR was able to crash the net on that crazy play that was really crowded in front and get one of those dirty but good goals um, that we would have hoped the Flyers had a little bit more of this year. And then a guy that we all know, a lot. Philippe Myers was able to score on a shot that obviously Carter Hart would want back. Ryan Johansson was then able to score on a nice tip in him for, on, on the power play. And then Philippe Forsberg, the uh, sniper, was able to score before Kevin Hayes was able to score for the Flyers on his goal in front of the net. And then we were able to have, after and then we were able to have at that point when it was tied up 4-4 since the Flyers did go flat a little bit in the third here when Philippe Forsberg was able to give Nashville the lead. They were very good through two, had the ante up, and then all of a sudden kind of went flat in the first half of the third. And then they were really able to kind of get the ante up again, get chances on net, the one goal that obviously got called back because of the high stick. And then they were able to get the game tying goal by Kevin Hayes and the beautiful fight for it in front. And then... Uh, after that, they were able to get the beautiful goal that was uh, assisted by Hayes and also Travis Sanheim, who, again, like I said, was having a fantastic game last evening to win it with Joel Farabee. Claude Giroux, it was great um, atmosphere for Claude Giroux's 1,000th game. I was there. It was awesome seeing everybody cheering, having all the great Let's Go Flyers chants. And uh, you could tell, like, when Hayes raised his arms, like, it's not like the team – is playing for anything in playoff contention this year, but you could tell this game they were really playing for something, and they were playing for G. Everybody was celebrating. Um, it was it was a packed house last night, almost sold out, and um, it was a fun atmosphere. It was the best atmosphere I've been in since the 50th anniversary game, but I would say it's even a more fun game because that was just the 50th anniversary. This is saying potentially goodbye to a franchise icon who, yes, might come back in the offseason via free agency, but for now, to, to let him go try to win a cup. Uh, this has been a reaction to one of the best games of my entire life. The Ruse 1000th game as Joel Farabee, Mr. Clutch, Philly Joel, who Claude Giroux said, they're your records to beat, kid, uh, was able to be Mr. Clutch and win it for the Flyers. So it's actually very fitting that he was the one to win it for the Flyers. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below. Up above them, these dudes widget to keep us growing to 315 or more by the end of March. Have a great day, everybody, and peace out.